1027 VGS. Well, if you're on a dating app for people with good, excellent credit, I hate to break it to you, that app is uh, no longer score was the name of the I, which I remember. I, think, is I remember a, we talked about it. A great name for the app, by the way. Mm-hmm. A plus, 10 out of 10. Because yeah. it's all about you want to score with people with a good credit score. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, they're hot and they pay their bills. <laughs> Can I have everything? That's amazing. Uh, the reason for the disclosure not disclosed by the company had 18,000 users made 8,000 matches in six months. That's pretty good. Yeah. Hey, listen. All right. That, just not enough people with good credit. What do we consider a good credit score? Do you know your credit score? Uh, I haven't checked it in a very long time. I, my, my score, Bob, pre-divorce was 835. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's currently a 760. Uh, debt. <laughs> I find not great. <laughs> working on it, though. We're working on it. There we go. Speaking of dating, women are using chat GPT to bust men who are lying about their height on dating apps like Tinder. They upload the photos to an AI tool. So what it does, it looks like the guy, and then it looks like th- things that are surrounding the guy. You know, like, oh, I know a bottle of Coca-Cola is exactly this height. Mm-hmm. So that man, I will assume, is about this height. And now... I mean, they're pretty accurate results. Now a lot of guys are getting outed. Well, like if you were if you were single right now and you had the height slider, I want you to be truly honest. Where do you start? Where is the minimum height to be the mate of Amy? My height. Which is 5'10? I'm like 5'8. You're 5'8? Yeah. Okay. All right, good. All right, there it is. Yeah, I, I um I'll say 5'9 on a good day. My husband uh, always says he's 5'11 and a half. Honestly, God, five years old. I hit five eleven and a half. That's exactly why I did. Yeah. I was starting to write six feet and <laughs> yeah. I stopped growing. I'm like, you suck. So, <laughs> I know. So mad. I know. Yeah, I think because I don't do heels, but like if I did wear heels a lot, I think guys are more self-conscious about being with somebody that's taller than right? I mean, I, I don't I wouldn't care if somebody was shorter than me. I've been with someone taller and then they wore heels too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then I remember introducing my dad and my dad was like Hello. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> looks, looks way up. Yeah. He's like, hi there. <laughs> How's the weather? <laughs> uh, residents in San Francisco, they are sick and tired of driverless cars on the roads. Waymo is the name of the company. They have these cars all throughout San Francisco. I think they're like Chevy Bolts or something like that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And they beep at each other. Folks. So they they honk day and night. They just uh, they they run away from police. Like they <laughs> yeah, look, nah. And they found a way to stop these cars. You take a traffic cone, you put it right on their hood. They stop. Wow. They put on their flashers. They are deactivated. Uh, again, I, a friend of mine was just in San Francisco and recorded getting a ride by one of these, and it just looks eerie. It, I'm all set. No. I'm all set. I, I do want not it. want this. I don't want this. No. Again, I've said, everyone, get your sledgehammers. And when I say the words, Farfignugan, you just start hitting everything that's mm-hmm. in a computer. Yeah. And there we go. We're going to go back to the Stone Age, but just for a little bit. Yep. So everyone knows who's the boss. Exactly. Uh, the University of Sherbrooke found that more the more time toddlers spend on tablets, the more likely they are to have outbursts. Researchers found a link between screen time and emotional regulation in young children. And I'm just thinking, you know, like, Colin didn't get as much screen time as Mario, but Mario's like, you know, a little more fiery. Mm-hmm. He gets a little more tood. I completely agree. Yeah. And that's why we just take it away during the week because then I don't have to say, okay, you're done with it because then when you take it away, the meltdown happens. So we just say Monday or Sunday night at a certain time to Friday when you're home from school, you're not, you can't even see it. There's no tablet between at all? No. Wow. No see- weekdays because it when we would have to take, okay, you've been on it an hour, your time is up. He throws himself on the ground and I'm like, bro, not happening. So we just had to, we had to put, it's easier for us just to take it away for the week. I had to walk in to see Colin um, having an absolute rage fest over (laughs) over Geometry Dash. Like he's raging (laughs) on this tablet. Uh And I'm like, bro, um, we got to take this away from him. (laughs) This is, this is bad behavior. It's. There's a reason I bought him an Android tablet though. Yeah, right. I didn't want it to be too good. Give him a a Kindle Fire. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> I give him an hour a day on the laptop. That's good. It's a hard and, hour. See, they know that's good. Yeah, yeah. Roman doesn't know yet. And uh, <laughs> finally, comedian John Tothill, he was recently performing in Scotland when his appendix burst while he was on stage. He said it had started going bad the week before, and then it literally burst while he was performing and still 
funnier than Rob Schneider. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> anything, yes. actually. Is, if you just stood there silent, a mute comedian, funnier than Rob Schneider. <laughs>